Hello and welcome. This week's video we're looking at Microsoft OneDrive as part of Office 365. So you can access it via the, the nine boxes and you can move between apps. So if you're in Outlook you can move to OneDrive or from one of the other Office apps. So having got into OneDrive, what have you got? Well OneDrive is cloud-based storage. This means you can access this storage from a range of different devices as long as they're connected to the internet. So down the left hand side here we've got files. They're all your own files and you can see in this case you can see their status whether they've been shared or private. You can see who's modified them, you can see a file size and you can see the date they were last modified. You can sort by name, by modified, modified by and file size. You can also change from a list view to a thumbnail view if you prefer. So you can see we've got a thumbnail view. I prefer the thumbnail view, but it depends on how many files you've got. If you click on a file, it will open it up in OneDrive in the appropriate app. But if you select it and then click on I, it will give you the information. So it's had two views. It will say that any, in the case of this one, anyone can, can view it and it will give you a version history and allow you to see information about it. So that's using the I function. So what we did is we just ticked, ticked a file and then we used the I. When you tick a file, you immediately get lots more information appearing in this menu at the top. So by ticking it, you can rename it you can make a copy of it, you can move it to a particular location, maybe a folder, you can delete it, you can download it, you can copy a link so that other users can access it, and you can go into the share settings within that document, or you can just open it. You can also drag and drop stuff just like you would on your own computer. So that's been that's going to move that for me. So that's moved there. So if I go into James's demo now, we can see that it's it's there. If we go back to file section, so we've got folders and we've got files displayed there, as I've said. Down, carrying on down the left, we've got recent, which will show files that I've recently opened. We've got shared. So that's where you'll find files that people have shared with you and you'll see who shared them. Discover allows you to see files that Office 365 think are relevant to you. It shows you what other people have been modifying and editing. You only get in the discover section, you only get to see the files that actually belong to you and you have the right to view. So none of your private files would, would appear within that list. And then we've got the recycle bin. And there are files that you've deleted and they'll stay in there for a while before they're then deleted permanently. And then the final thing on the left hand side is we've got where your files would appear. So these are folders maybe within a SharePoint site or if you use Microsoft Planner as I do on my to-do list, I can see files that are linked to my to-do list. So you can see other locations within Office 365 where your files may be contained. So let's go back to the file section. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can use the search feature up here in the top left corner. To add a new file or folder, you click on the plus and you can create a folder. I'll just name that and click create and that will create you a folder. You can also create a new document, a spreadsheet, a presentation, a OneNote or a form. Or if you've got an existing file on a computer that you've already created, you can click upload and you can choose files for individual files. Or if you've got a whole folder of files you want to upload, you can click upload. But look, I think there's a much easier way to do it than that. You can just choose your location by clicking on the folder. And then you can use drag and drop to upload the file. So I can just drag it. And you'll saw the banner at the top went blue 
and now it's uploaded it. Now it signals it's new by those little blue highlights in the corner there. And I can upload a variety of different types. I'm just gonna upload an image type file again, a drag and drop, and it will upload into that location. Again, if I tick the box, I can click on I, and that'll give me some information. So at the moment, no one has access because I can see who has access there. And I can see when that file was uploaded. I can see the file type and the file size and the path as to where it's stored. So it's just useful that I function is a really useful function. If there were multiple versions, I could view the version history as well. So that's just by ticking the box. Also, as you roll your mouse over, it will give you a title and other details relating to that file. So, so far we've looked at the structure, looking at our files, recent files we've edited, files we've shared, and files that are being edited by people within our organization. We've looked at creating a new folder or a, or a document or a spreadsheet presentation. We looked at uploading files and folders what else have we got there? We've got sync. Well, that will allow you to make a local copy to your computer so you could work offline. And you've got flow. Now flow allows you to automate a number of tasks in different applications so that they all work together to create a workflow. And that's something that I'll cover in a separate video, which you can join in and hopefully watch at a later date. So there we have it, OneDrive, a really easy way to make sure your files stay with you. You can download the OneDrive app for a range of different devices, and that means you no longer need to make use of USB keys and removable storage. From a security point of view, it's obviously vastly more secure than carrying the files around with you around your neck. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please share it and remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for another EdTech video. Thanks for watching.